Hello, we are back. We are the Bosnas. I'm Andrea. And this is um, her husband, Dirk. Dirk. Well, in the last episode, uh, we talked about, or we told you. Um, that we made the decision to sell everything and uh, make made a, a transition from restaurant owner to a digital nomad. Then, um, when was it when we left? First of September. First of September, we left our home in Valparaiso, Florida, and we headed to Georgia, I guess. And then on Thanksgiving Day. 2023 it was the day we crossed the border to Mexico I remember that moment I don't know it said something like uh, you are leaving the United States here and I was so excited because will we ever be back we, we don't know we don't know it was a big step everything went well and then we started our Mexican journey Nobody anyway. waved and said goodbye. Yeah. No, it, it was, was disappointing. Yeah, yeah, I know. We missed you guys. You now we will give you a few impressions um, from our route. Mm -hmm. route. And, um, yeah, from the, our waypoint. Yeah, that was from the border to our first stop. We needed, was two days? Three days. Three days. So two we made overnight stops. Two overnight stops. And, and, and what well, was one Walmart and one. No. Hotel parking lot. Yeah, I was a big yard of a hotel. That, that was um, our first Mexican campground was uh, Roca Azul uh, by the Lake Chapala in the little town called Jocotepec, which Dirk never could remember. Yes, he never knows where we are. He, he can't remember the names of the little town. Yeah, Jocotepec. weather was not good enough for madame. So no, it was raining a yeah. lot. And December, no, November. Yeah, I was not in Mexico for rain. <laughs> okay, yeah. then... Um, then we decided to go to the Pacific coast and our first stop there was at Sandy's. Hi, Hi Sandy! Sandy. Uh, at Rancho B RV Park in La Placita, Michoacan. Very nice campground, beautiful. Rayo del Sol in La Barita in the state of Guerrero. One night at Dave's. Hi Dave. <coughs> Hi Dave at Canela Bistro. We didn't fit in your in your place. We we spent the night uh, on the street, but we ate the best pizza of the world. Yes. So if you are around, you have to try that pizza. It's well, amazing. We... Okay, from Dave's we 
went to Cipolite. Cipolite. Oh, oh my god. Cipolite is so great. Oh my god. It is the only nude beach in Mexico. Yeah, but that's not why it's so great. <laughs> no, no, but this no. is ju just one fact. You know? It's a hippie town. It's an absolutely hippie town. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all, no, not all, but I would say. 80% in our age, that means yeah. old. And old. I had a feeling that they came in 1980 and they just forget to leave. Yeah. <laughs> Gardens in the wonderful Bahia San Agustin. That's a beautiful little gem, also right by the ocean with a beautiful pool and everything. We had a great time there. And then we decided to go back to Cipulite. Uh, because, 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 because it started it getting uh, warm. Yeah, it was and hot. It is a beautiful place over there, but John had solar. Power, and uh, we couldn't turn on our AC and even the pool they had to throw ice blocks in it because it, that, that was I don't know it was kind of a lo lobster yeah okay so why are you doing this <laughs> Cipolite. Yeah. Because it was hot. Boom. Yes. The pool Period. was way larger and uh, uh, yeah. the, whole, the whole spot was larger. No? Mm -hmm. And it uh, was really interesting because um, there was a time on our few months journey we met many uh, Canadians. Yeah. By the way, we met uh, Rick and Jim, our uh, friends. Hi, Rick and Jim. Hi. Hope to see you again this season. Yeah. Um, and at John's, we met our German friends from matter. the I, Allgäu. I just want to tell you a story, but it's, it's, <laughs> doesn't matter. Gitti and Heribert. Hi, Gitti and Heribert. Hi. And they went with us back to Zipulite. Yes. And now you can tell your story. Yeah, that was a, a, a great time, but after two months, we decided time to leave. And our friends Gitti and Heribert, uh, they went two weeks before us uh, to um, Oaxaca City. Mm -hmm. I guess in last, uh, last episode we, we shared a few pictures. Mm -hmm. And that is an amazing, an amazing city. Yeah. yeah. We spent uh, three months there on a really beautiful campground also. El Rancho RV Park in Oaxaca City. I would say is one of the best campgrounds in Mexico, you have to say. Yeah. Super clean, super well maintained, great pool, great showers, washing machine, everything perfect. Highly recommended. Yeah. But then it was time to leave. And the road was calling. Yeah. Yeah. It's close to it's close to the end of the hurricane season and that was the decision to move to the uh, Gulf Coast to the East Coast and now I guess we mentioned that we are here in Quan Quintana Roo Quintana Roo but we it's are at the Caribbean coast not at the Gulf Coast it doesn't matter yeah go ahead <laughs> that's right so we are, we are underneath the Gulf Coast right so but we are in the yeah, we're at the uh, Caribbean Sea. Yeah. So, and this place here, it's kind of a beach club, uh, cabana, hotel, RV park mix. Yeah. They have a restaurant over here. They have a pool over here to make uh, on s on weekends uh, parties. Yeah. Okay. She's telling I'm talking bullshit. No, boring, rambling. Yeah. You are rambling. Yes. Mm, okay. I hope you enjoyed the pictures and impressions uh, from our journey so far. 
In the next episodes we are going to talk about the different kinds of digital nomad, how to make the decision to become one, budgeting, planning. So stay tuned. <laughs>